So let's do a quick overview of the Mercury 310 controller. So right here we have our rotating dial. It's used for programming the board. We can learn motor one, L1, learn motor two, L2, adjust our force setting, FC, adjust our close timer, CT, adjust the leaf delay on a dual gate system, FD, LD, and the run position. Also to the right of it, we have our open, close, and stop buttons used to control the gate. Left and right selector buttons for adjusting different parameters when we're using the rotating dial. Our USB input, where we can use to that to do a firmware update. Our programming buttons for the OXI receiver that we'd plug in right here into this opening. Just remove that rubber gasket, plug it in. These buttons would be used to program that OXI receiver. Fail safe, fail secure selector, alarm output selector, a couple of fuses on the board. This fuses the incoming battery power. This fuses our charging power. Down the left hand side of the board we have sources of power and all of our different inputs. So we have a constant source of 12 volt power, a remote or step-by-step -step input, ground, our three button station inputs, our fire input, our blue bus input, if we want to use blue bus photo eyes on this unit, our monitored entrapment inputs, we have an open direction input and a closed direction input. Uh, these are self um, determining. When you connect a 10K device to this, these inputs, it will automatically determine what type of device that is and set the board up automatically. A switched volt source of 12 volt power, uh, this would be used to turn a device off that we don't need when the board's asleep. So this power would go off when the board goes into standby mode. Another constant source of 12 volt power for powering up accessories. And then we have our loop inputs. We have an obstruction or closing direction input, a shadow input, and an exit input. At the bottom of the board, we have our two motor inputs. Our charging input, this would be for an unregulated charging device such as a uh, just a DC transformer or a solar panel, uh, you would not connect a fully automatic battery charger here. A fully automatic battery charger needs to stay connected directly to the battery. Uh, we don't want to connect a fully automatic battery charger here. This would be for an unregulated charging device such as a solar panel or just a, a DC transformer. Our incoming battery power. And then over here on the right side, another switch source of power and our alarm output. And that is an overview of the Mercury 310 controller.